I'm right there, actually. Here, guys, oh. the Where's Michael? I've got some cotton for your Where's ears. Everybody Michael? take it and pass it around. This will help out with the noise a little bit from the motor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I... Uh, I yeah, sure. Take That's some funny. extras, because sometimes the wind will pull it out of your ear. And also, my jokes are terrible. Uh, uh, make sure everybody gets some. For those of you wearing hats, make sure you hold on to the hats, sunglasses on top of your head. It gets very windy. I don't want you to lose anything. Secure any loose articles you might have. If you have your cameras ready at all times, you can take great pictures also, okay? When we come up running wildlife, gators, animals, anything like this, let's not all rush to the same side of the boat at once. If we do that, we all get to go for a swim today, okay? Okay. <laughs> all right. Don't eat the cotton because it will give you cotton now. <laughs> How many of y'all's first time on an airboat ride? Yay. All right, me too. Yes, too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take pictures. You're best off holding your cameras up above the windshield where you're sitting. They'll come out real nice that way or hold them out to the side. Okay. If, if you feel you want to stand up to take a picture, I don't mind. But when you're finished... Well, that was a pretty good trip. How did everybody enjoy themselves? Now, if y'all look down over the sides of the boat during our trip, you're going to spot a lot of different fish, turtles, water snakes, gators, just a good chance of anything. You're going to have to edit a lot of those problems. sitting up on the nest. She's got a baby alligator nest right here on the right. Straight in. Straight in at 3 o'clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. See her back in here? Straight in on the right. See her there? There she is. Right back oh, in there. Yeah. Sitting up on the nest there. If you look real close, you might spot some babies. Uh-huh. With sharp eye, you'll spot just about anything out here. <laughs>
these two things are what have shaped the Everglades for us over time. Where we're sitting, we're in the East Everglades, we're in the East Everglades National Park boundaries. It's now a federally protected area, it's a national park. It's approximately 10,000 square acres, which is pretty large. But just to let you know, the Everglades is much larger than just this area. The Everglades will actually consume almost the whole state of Florida, Florida uh, uh, as far as wetlands are concerned. Did you know that if, if the United States government were ever to get together and protect and boundarize all of the wetlands in Florida, that we would be sitting in the largest national park in the world, which would be a little over 1.5 million square acres. Right now, as it stands, Yellowstone is number one, Glacier is number two, and the Everglades falls in category three. Well, thank you all very much. Does anybody have any questions for me? Any questions? It is fed from the canal also through the culverts under the road and flows south through the Everglades National Park out to the Gulf of Mexico and Florida Bays. It originates north in the Kissimmee River, St. John's River, area, which is north of Lake Okeechobee. That will flow into Lake Okeechobee and south of the there. there are no natural springs that feed the Everglades. This is 100% fresh rain. Huh. Everglades. Everglades, just like what you see right here. Same thing. Hmm. Any other questions? <laughs> Come on, I like questions. <laughs> Ask and find your We've had a, a severe drought last year. All this dried up for a month and a half. It looked like a huge desert floor out there. It all cracked. It was like a desert floor. It was amazing. 100% hmm. of the birds migrated north. About 60% of the alligators followed because they need fish, food, uh, water to feed. We lost a third of the fish population. They got trapped in little pocketed areas and water holes out here. It was very severe. Last drought before that was back in 1990, uh, which only occurred for a two-week period of time. Good. I can go ice boat. Yes, sir. How do you combine the national park with hunting? I'm sorry? How do you combine the national park with hunting? With hunting? Okay. Well, from the road where we left, south, all the way out, it's all wetlands. This is National Park now. No hunting allowed. They stopped it back in 86. On the north side of the road, you can hunt, but um, you have to obtain a hunting license. It's, it's uh, supervised by a Fish and Wildlife Commission. Um, Florida's been hunted for so many years. It's actually hunted out, to be honest with you. There's really not much hunting here, other than deer and ducks, you know, wild boar, wild pigs, anything like that. Um, but, uh, there are certain boundaries where you can and can't hunt. It's all protected areas. They're all, you know, sectioned. Hmm. Indians allowed, are they allowed special? Indians can do anything they want out there. Anything. Con they were basically declared a sovereign nation. Tulsa, Seminoles, and Miccosukees, which uh, uh, Miccosukees are a runaway tribe from the uh, Seminoles. Seminoles are a runaway tribe from the Creek Nation, which is a northern Florida tribe. Um, and did you know that the Miccosukee Indians are the only tribe here in North America and all of the United States to this day that still has not signed a peace treaty with the United States government? Hmm. But they're declared sovereign nation. They can do whatever they want. They used to live out here on the hammocks. They used to. Now, they've got casinos and escalades. <laughs> but if you really look at the word Indian, okay, fathom this. In the end, Indian, in the end, they get it all back, and they have it, and they are still acquiring what was once theirs. Indian. Yeah. Indian. Any other questions? Are you wearing a scarf? Yes, I am, sir. It looks nice. <laughs> hey, this is for easy. For this right now, even for me, I'm cold. I'm a cracker. I'm a Florida cracker. I'm not used to <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we've had, we've, we've had records. We've broke so many records this year. About a month ago, it was 26 degrees right out here. We had a layer of glass on all of this. Unbelievable. Hmm. Never. Back in the early 70s, a lot of frost, but no ice. El Nino. Any other questions? Anybody want to get in the water and get a picture? Sure. It's about knee deep. You're welcome to get in if you like. Get in? Yeah. <laughs> sure. No takers. Nobody wants to get it. <laughs> she said she did. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Reach over and feel. Go ahead. You'll be all right. Go ahead. Reach over and feel. It's not too bad. It's cold. It's cold? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right.